Red-headed woodpecker, Melanerpes erythrocephalus. This uncommon species is 8.5 to 9.5 inches in length. That's 21 to 24 centimeters. The sexes are similar. The red-headed woodpecker is a beautiful, distinctive bird with a confusingly generic name. It is the only eastern woodpecker with an entirely red head, face, and throat. Other woodpeckers have some red on the head, especially adult red-bellied woodpeckers, which are often mistakenly called red-headed. But red-bellied woodpeckers have just a mohawk-like cowl of red in the male and a patch on the back of the head in the female. Their faces and throats are gray. Adult red-headed woodpeckers have a complete hood of bright red. In the west, the red-breasted sapsucker has an all-red head, but the rest of its plumage is very different, as are its range and habitat preferences. The large white patches on the lower back and trailing edge of the red-headed woodpecker's inner wings flash like a checkered flag when the bird is flying. The flight style of red-headed woodpeckers is more direct and less undulating than most other woodpeckers. The white wing patches make the lower back look white when the bird is perched, making a bold red, black, white, black banded pattern from top to bottom. The juvenile is dusky-headed for the first several months of its life, attaining the red head of adult plumage by late winter of its first year. Its wing patches are mottled with dark markings. The red-headed woodpecker's voice is a high-pitched, excited-sounding queer or quia. It is louder and higher pitched than the chur of the more common red-bellied woodpecker. While red-headed woodpeckers can be very vocal, especially around the nesting colony, they are also prone to sitting quietly. They swoop in flashing loops from an exposed perch catching flying insects on the wing. They prefer open stands of woodland with little undergrowth, especially stands of oaks or other nut-bearing trees, nuts forming the other portion of their largely insectivorous diet. They nest in loose colonies in stands of mature trees in parks and orchards. In most of their range, red-headed woodpeckers are year-round residents, though northern birds do withdraw to the south. Their range extends westward to the western edge of the Great Plains and southward into central Texas. Most birdwatchers savor every opportunity to see this boldly patterned and increasingly uncommon bird. called the Acro Cats, Circus Cats of Chicago. They're a troop of performing house cats, domestic house cats, that do all sorts of acrobatic tricks. Tuna inspired me to put the show together about three years ago because she's so brilliant. <laughs> I didn't hear it. I'm not that old. I didn't hear that bell ring. And I still didn't hear it. <laughs> um, I, I gave, gave up making it a real serious show a couple years ago because cats are kind of, uh, they like to work at their own pace, they're a little bit unpredictable, uh, they're, uh, yeah, they're kind of unprofessional as far as animals, you know, that you want them to jump to the hoop just at this moment and then somebody opens a door and they're like, oh, what was that? So without any further ado, the amazing 